Hey everybody, so I've been teaching this uh, yoga boot camp class, it's been very popular and uh, we go for about an hour usually. Um, these are usually with yogis, yoginis that have been with me for three to five years um, and we really rock it out. It's, it's a hard, challenging workout so if you want to add a little kick to your yoga routine. I encourage you to try this. Today we're going to do 20 minutes, um, but it's going to be tough. It's going to kick your butt. So grab your water and your towel and your mat and let's go. All right, so we're going to start on our mats today in a cross-legged seat. But let's see, let's um, take your your ankles and uncross them, so one ankle is in front of the other. Grab onto your shin bones. Don't worry that your knees may not come all the way down. You're gonna grab onto your shin bones and rock forward and back. So just take a deep breath in, and rock forward and back. So this is sort of a kundalini sort of warm up that's um, Really good for warming up the core and the body and the spine, the low back, the middle back. So just keep taking deep breaths in and out. Feel your shoulders sort of round forward as you breathe out and as you inhale, pull your shoulder blades back on your back. And just continue like that, breathing in your nose and out your nose, creating that wave-like sound in the back of your throat on the out breath. Good. All right, and then just come to back to a neutral spine. And I'm just going to turn around here. We're going to lean back as you reach your arms forward. We're going to start really sort of firing up the core as we lift our legs and just feel that and breathe. You might feel some heat starting to create right here. Good, and then uncross the legs. Start to straighten the legs a little bit more. You might not get the legs all the way straight and that's fine, but try to straighten them as much as possible. And just breathe there in what we call boat pose and avasana. It's a really good warm up for the core. Good. And see if you can take your opposite ankle on top now. Bend your knees, draw them a little closer towards your chest, and just breathe like that for a couple breaths. Good job. And then set your heels back down, stacking your opposite ankle that you did in, in front as last time. You're going to grab onto your shin bones and reach forward and back. So as you breathe or as you reach your chest forward, you're going to breathe in. And as you exhale, round the back, stretch the low back, tuck the chin, let the shoulders round forward and empty the belly. So take a deep breath and fill the belly like you're filling it up with air. Come on the out breath empty. So just continue inhaling and exhale. So you can really start to move now as fast as your breath will allow. So just make sure on the in breath you're breathing in and rocking forward and exhaling as you rock back. So you might start to really feel the core start to warm up, your body start to warm, your shoulders start to loosen, your hips start to open. Good. Okay. And then, okay, one last time. Lean back a little bit and onto the back rim of your sit bones. And the two bones on the bottom of your pelvis, and then lift your legs up. Good, uncross the legs, and one more time, straighten the legs and breathe. 
Hold that three breaths. Good. And then one more. Good. Release the feet down. Take the feet out a little wider than hip distance. You can bring your hands behind you to push yourself up. You're going to lift your hips now and just come into a forward fold. Separate your feet about a uh, mat with distance apart. So they're about as wide as the mat is. And just grab your opposite elbows and allow your head to drop. This is really going to start to open up the hamstrings. It's really important to open up before we do our yoga practice. Good. Now we're going to go into a little bit more of a dynamic movement for the hamstrings. So release your hands down to the mat. And if you can't even be on your fingertips, you might want to take two blocks and place them underneath your hands. Take a deep breath in. Keep your knees a little bit bent. Inhale and lift up like you're trying to get your torso sort of parallel to the floor. Reach forward with the crown of your head. And as you exhale, keep your knees bent as you fold. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, good, three more, inhale, exhale, good, two more, keep reaching forward, nice long spine with the crown of your head, and exhale, fold, good, inhale, exhale, fold, Good. And one last time. Inhale. And exhale. Fold. Good. Move your hands forward to the front of your mat, about shoulder distance apart, spreading your fingers and your feet towards the back of the mat. So your feet come about hip distance apart. You're going to shift your tailbone back and up, making that inverted V shape of downward facing dog. Okay. Don't worry if your heels don't touch the mat. Okay, just really stretch them back and down, feeling that stretch down through the calves for a moment. And then take a deep breath in. On the in-breath, you're going to shift forward to plank pose. When you come to plank, keep your hips level with your shoulder blades. And as you exhale, shift back, downward facing dog. Good. Inhale. So we're going to keep going and flowing through these dynamic movements. So we work efficiently. Inhale. And exhale. So you don't have to work out that long if you don't have a lot of time to do a full yoga practice, which could take an hour, an hour, 15 minutes. So we're going to get all that sort of challenge in 20 minutes. Take a deep breath in, shift forward into plank pose. Good. Just pause there for a moment. And just breathe three breaths. Try to feel your navel drawing up and into your spine. You want to puff the area right above your waistline. Make sure your hips are staying level with your shoulder blades. And as you exhale, shift your shoulders slightly forward and lower down, chaturanga. Take a deep breath in and feel your chest up into a cobra shape. And as you exhale, come back down, visualizing your spine, curl your toes under, and make your way back to downward facing dog. Okay, you're a dog, take a deep breath in and lift your right leg up. Good, and just breathe, get nice and long from your fingertips all the way back through your right heel. Good, and on the in breath, shift forward to a plank pose again with your right leg lifted this time. Good, as you exhale, lift back and up to a three limb dog shape. Inhale, shift forward, exhale back. Good. Inhale, shift forward. Exhale back. Good. Inhale. Exhale back. Good. One more time. Inhale, shift forward. And exhale back. Good. Take a huge breath in. Lift the right leg a little bit higher. And as you exhale, step the right foot forward between the thumbs. Take a deep breath in and rise up into a high crescent lunge shape. Good. Just breathe there for a moment. Good. As you exhale, release your hands down. Getting free to your front foot. And start to pulse your hips up as you begin to straighten your legs a little bit. Suck your belly in. As you exhale, drop your hips. 
sorry, so inhale, drop your hip. Exhale up, inhale down. And get ready. As you suck your navel into your spine and exhale, I want you to try to jump switch your feet. Good. Don't worry if you didn't do that the first time, so you can step it out if you need to. You're going to jump switch three times until your left foot is forward. Good. And take a deep breath in, sweep your arms back up into a high crescent shape. Good, scoop your tailbone under, suck your belly in. Try to line your shoulders right up over your hips. And most importantly, breathe. Good. All right, as you exhale, release your hands down. Frame your front foot. Take a deep breath in. As you exhale, lift your hips. So to lift your hips and then jump, switch the feet again. Three times until your right foot is forward. Good. And then you're going to step your right foot back to plank pose. Take a deep breath in, shift your shoulders slightly forward. Exhale, lower down, chaturanga back. Inhale, rise up, cobra or upward facing dog. You're ready for that. And then curl your toes under, lift back and up. Downward facing dog. Lift your left leg up. Inhale. Good. And just breathe there, feeling that. Good. Try to even the weight between your hands so you're evenly pressing with both hands so not all the weight is on one hand. Good. On your next breath in, you're going to shift forward to a three lip plank pose. Inhale. Exhale, back and up. Three limb dog. Inhale, shift forward. Exhale, back and up. Inhale, shift forward. Exhale, back and up. Good. Three more. Inhale, shift forward. Exhale, back and up. Good. Two more. Inhale. Exhale, back and up. Good. One more. Inhale, shift forward. Exhale, back and up. Lift the left leg just a little bit higher. And then exhale, step your left foot forward between the thumbs. Take a nice deep breath. Firm that back leg. Inhale. Rise up into a high crescent shape. Try to soften the inner shoulders. Feel the shoulder blades sliding down your back. Draw your navel into your spine. Tuck your low ribs in. Good. Take one more breath. And as you exhale, release your hands down. Frame your front foot. On the out breath, lift your hips. Jump, switch the feet. That's one. Jump, switch again. That's two. Jump, switch again. That's three. So your right foot is forward. Good. Take a deep breath in. Inhale. Rise back up into a high crescent shape. Good. One more breath. Good. And then release your hands down. Frame your front foot. Step back to a plank pose. Take a deep breath in. Shift your shoulders slightly forward. Exhale. Keep your hips level with your shoulder blades. Lower down. Chaturanga. Inhale. Upward facing dog or cobra. Exhale. Downward facing dog. Then on the in breath, shift forward into a plank pose. Good. Now, this time, do a little variation, dropping your hips, reach your heart forward, like you're creating sort of up dog shape with your toes curled under. And on the out breath, you're going to suck your belly in and shift all the way back, downward facing dog. Breathe out. Take a deep breath in, shift forward. Drop your hips, reach your chest forward, exhale, shift back, downward facing dog, inhale, shift forward, exhale, downward facing dog, a lot of heat's being created now, shift forward, and exhale, shift back, good, two more like that, inhale, shift forward, exhale, back, beautiful, one more, inhale, shift forward, Good. Exhale. Shift all the way back. Downward facing dog. Good. Take a deep breath in. Come up on your toes. Bend your knees. Gaze between your thumbs. Walk, step, or hop your feet up to the top of your mat. Take a deep breath in. Lift up halfway. Exhale. Fold into your legs. Good. Bend your knees. Sweep your arms up. Lift your chest. Come into Utkatasana and chair pose. Take a huge breath in here, and as you exhale, drop your torso over your thighs. Breathe out your mouth. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. So breathing out your mouth like this, inhale, helps to release that agni, that heat. 
So feel really good. Inhale. Exhale. Good. Two more. Inhale. Exhale. And one more. Inhale. Exhale. Good. This time, inhale. Come up. Reach your arms up. Hold chair pose. Take three breaths. So whatever going on in your legs, don't think about it. Just change your focus to your breath. Just focus on your breath. Good. Good. Take a huge breath in and straighten your legs. Reach your arms all the way up and lift your heart through the little back in here. As you exhale, swan dive forward, releasing your hands down to the mat. Inhale, lift the pathway. Exhale, and step back to plank pose. Deep breath in. Exhale, lower chaturanga. Inhale, rise up, cobra, up your facing dog. Good. Exhale. Downward facing dog. Good. Okay, so back to the shoulders. Shift forward into a plank pose. And this time again, drop your hips again. Reach your heart forward and float your right foot up. See how that feels. Good. Keep your right leg lifted and you're going to shift all the way back to three limb dog pose. Good. Shift forward. Inhale. Drop your hips. Reach your heart forward. Exhale back. Good. So if this hurts the low back at all, make sure you're scooping your tailbone under and protecting your back by drawing your navel into your spine. Inhale. Exhale. And if it becomes too difficult, you can always place your opposite knee down on the mat to modify. Exhale. Good. One more. Shift forward. Good. Exhale. Back and up. Lift that leg a little higher. And as you exhale, step your right foot forward between your thumbs. This time you're going to spin your back heel down, ground it. Bend in front of you over your ankle, inhale, rise up into a warrior one shape. Good. Now on the in breath, I want you to straighten your legs, just lower your arms down. On the out breath, bend your front knee, go lower into warrior one. Inhale. Exhale. That's two. Inhale. Exhale. Three. Inhale. Exhale, four. Inhale. Exhale, five. Good. One more. Inhale. Exhale, six. Good. Pausing there. Good. And then just to release your hands down, creating your front foot. Rise up on the bottom of the back foot. Push down with your palm. See if you can pick your right foot up and just hover it. So you're in a plank pose. Take a deep breath in. Kick that right leg back behind you. If you get tired, drop your left knee. Exhale. Draw your right knee into your chest. Inhale. Kick it back. Exhale. Draw it in. Inhale. Kick it back. Exhale. Draw it in. Three more like this. Inhale. Exhale. Two more. Inhale. Exhale. Good. One more. Inhale. And exhale. Good. Step your right foot back. Plank. Exhale, lower down, chaturanga. Inhale, rise up, cobra upper facing. Exhale, downward facing dog. Good. Take a deep breath in. Come up on your toes. Gaze between your thumbs. Walk, step, or hop your feet up to your hands. Inhale, lift up halfway. As you exhale, fold into your legs. Good. Bend your knees. Drop your tail. Reach your arms out to the side. Inhale, come up. Utkatasana. And as you exhale, breathe out your mouth. Drop your torso over your legs. Keep your knees bent. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. So that you feel a bit good right now. Releasing the breath. Inhale. Exhale. And inhale. Exhale. And inhale. Exhale. Good. One more like that. Inhale. Exhale. Good. Take a deep breath in. Bend your knees. Keep them bent. Reach your... Arms up as you drop your tailbone down. Three breaths. You should be feeling something in the legs now. The quads. Good. Take a deep breath in. Straighten the legs. Exhale, swan dive forward. Releasing the hands. Take a deep breath in. Inhale, lift the pathway. Exhale, step back to plank pose. Take a deep breath in. Shift forward. Exhale, lower chaturanga. Inhale, rise up. Cobra upper facing. Exhale, downward facing dog. Shift forward on the in-breath. Drop your hips. Reach your heart forward. Float your other leg up. So your left leg up. And as you exhale, lift back and up. 
All the way to three limb dog. Inhale, shift forward, drop your hips, reach your heart forward. Exhale, back. Good, we just got four more on this side. Inhale, good, exhale. If you're asking yourself why this is so tough, it is. Inhale, exhale. Shift back, good, two more. Inhale, exhale, shift back. Good, one more time, inhale, shift forward. Exhale, shift back, lift your left leg up higher. Then your next out breath, step your left foot forward between your thumbs. Ground your back heel, rise up, warrior one. Good, take a deep breath in, exhale. Sink a little deeper, suck that belly in, draw the needle into your spine. Good, take a deep breath in, and then straighten your front leg without locking your knees, drop your arm. Exhale, sink a little deeper. Inhale, straighten. Exhale, sink. Good, inhale. Exhale. We have three more. Inhale. Exhale. Two more. Inhale. Exhale. Good. One more. Inhale. And exhale. Good. Sit down. Beautiful. Release your hands down. Frame your front foot. Push down your palms and pick your left foot up. Hover it there. Good. Hold plank. Kick it back. Inhale. Drop your right knee if you have to. Exhale. Draw it in. Inhale. Kick it back. Exhale, draw it in, inhale, kick it back. Exhale, draw it in. Good, inhale, kick it back. Exhale, draw it in. Beautiful, lower your left foot down, shift forward. Inhale, you're gonna feel this one. Exhale, lower down, chaturanga. Inhale, rise up, cobra, upward facing. Exhale, downward facing dog, good job. Come up on your toes, gaze between your thumbs, walk, step, or hop your feet up to your hands. Inhale, lift up halfway. Good, two, exhale, fold into your legs. Good, start to drop your tail, reach your arms forward. Drop your tail a little bit more, a little bit more. A little bit more, you can take your hands to the floor if you need to. Reach them forward, lift the feet up. Good, all right. Then straighten the legs, bring your hands behind you. If you can't straighten the legs all the way, just bend the knees a little bit. So it's about a 60 degree angle with the floor. Good. Inhale. Lift your legs. Exhale. Lower. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Good. Two more. Inhale. Exhale. One more. Inhale. Exhale. Good job. Okay. Plant your feet. Bend your knees. Reach your arms forward for a moment. Just roll all the way down to your spine. And just release. Just let your body go for a moment. Good. Try to relax any tension in your body and just try to let your breath go. So there's no need to control the breath. Just let it go. Excellent, take a deep breath in, reach the arms up overhead. And then as you exhale, circle the arms down, bend your knees, hug them into your chest. And let's stretch in the low back. Good, now we're gonna take a little happy baby, grabbing the insoles of the feet, allow the ankles to line right up over the knees, and press down with the hands on the soles of the feet. So your knees drop in a downward position towards the floor. And you can rock side to side if that feels good for you. Good. Draw your knees back into your chest. Cross your ankles, grab onto your shin bones. Start to rock and roll up and down your spine. A little bigger each time. Good. And then rock all the way up to sit. Okay, so you're going to sit in Sukhasana with your ankles crossed. And just walk your hands forward. If this is as far as you can go, that's great. As long as you get your sit bones to connect to the floor, 
Stay connected and you feel that stretch in your hips. Inner and outer. Maybe go a little bit deeper. And then walk your hands back. Quick little hip stretch. Uncross the legs, cross the other way. And walk your hands forward. And then just allow your chest to drop. your hands back towards your shins. All right, good job. So you survived your first yoga boot camp. Good job. So don't forget to um, subscribe so you get my upcoming videos and uh, comment below and let me know what you think about this one. Congratulations. Have a great day.